You just prolonged the agony, sister. Let him have it. He's dead. I'm sorry. If I could only have gotten here sooner, I might have prevented this. Therefore, it is adjudged that death was a homicide committed by a person or persons unknown. Signed, forthright coroner's office. Those, unfortunately, are the cold facts. Another victim added to Dr. Vulcan's list. Another sacrifice, kid. If you had only enlisted our help, we wouldn't be faced with these cold facts. I don't see why you or I could have been of much help. But no matter what dangers lie ahead, I am still willing to trust the King's judgment. Of course, I, I'm not blaming you, King, for these unfortunate occurrences. I just thought perhaps we might be of some assistance. Let's leave it with the understanding, then, that I'll call upon you whenever I feel you can help. Fair enough. Oh, uh, by the way, King, uh, how are you getting on with rebuilding the decimator? Well, it's a difficult task, Doctor, but I hope to have some results soon. Good, good. I think he may be very surprised to find out how soon it'll be. By displacing the sonic vibrator, I've been able to reset the safety control. Now, that's using the old head. It's also good to feel that the decimator is beyond the reach of Dr. Vulcan. I wish that were true, but it isn't. Before I can start testing, I must work out a protective shield. What for? Isn't this cave protection enough? No. The fissionary material used is thromium. It kicks off ultra-radionic waves that are detectable within a radius of 100 miles. And since I know Millard was using thromium in his experiments, I devised this radionic detector, sensitive enough to pierce the most powerful shield. I get the general idea. By using this gadget, I can locate the hiding place where King is working on a decimator. Precisely. Look here. This dial will be your guide. Zero point indicating when you are in the area. Looks like a cinch. Up to a point, Durkin. However, I'm sure King has protected his workshop with some warning device. So I just barge in and... You'll use force only as a last resort. Okay. What have you got in mind? Take a motorcycle with you, on the truck. Motorcycle? Yes. And after you locate the hideout... Slow down a little. Hold it. Down that side road to the left. All right, pull up behind those trees. That's the place we want. Pull up there and stop. All right, fellas, get out the motorcycle. Well, we're all set. Someone's at the entrance.
takes care of him. I'd feel much better if we'd had a chance to talk to the guy first. Yes, that would have helped. But the camera we concealed at the entrance might lead us somewhere. Right, George, you're right. His photo might be an even better clue for us. Let's get back and see what we got. Right. The decimator, it's gone. I don't get it. That guy on the motorcycle. The oldest gag in the world. He was a decoy to get us away from here. And we really fell for it. Well, we better find out who our visitors were. But won't it take too long to get a print? No, this camera takes a positive picture. We can get a photo without a negative in a couple of minutes. Bring me that test box, will you? so surprising about seeing Durkin. No, not him, the truck. He must still be in the vicinity, and a police blockade could trap it. Emergency. Calling Highway Patrol. Emergency. Highway Patrol answering. This is King of Science Associates. A valuable piece of equipment has been stolen in a truck licensed 24368. Looks to be about a three-ton truck, stake body, covered with a tarp. We'll spread a dragnet. From the police report I picked up, they've got a full description of the truck. I'll run through them. We'll do nothing of the kind. Head for Saddle Pass, where Phillips will meet you. Yeah, right. Head for Saddle Pass. It's been a half an hour. We should hear something pretty soon. Or start building a counter weapon. Highway Patrol calling King. I'm in. Our patrol has just located your truck moving along Abbey Road towards Saddle Pass. Great. I'll take it from here. You stay here in case I need a contact. Well, what can you do alone? I have a fair idea. Here's the detonator. Okay. Help him move the decimator. I'll set this up. Okay. Set to go. So will this be. Ten seconds after the first guy sets foot in here. What Dr. Vulcan said, it'll either be Jeff King or a rocket man. Get the car turned around. All right.